Hi friend, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to share with you a review on Tampax Pro Tampons. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Tanya. On this channel I share tutorials, reviews, and self videos for women. Be sure to subscribe and if you're coming back as always, welcome back. So for 17 years I used Tampax Pro exclusively. So that was the only tampon we bought in our home from the day I started my period up until 2022 before I branched out and tried literally every tampon that you can imagine. I do have reviews on every tampon that you see on my channel so be sure to check those videos out before you leave. But since I used Tampax Pro for so many years I thought it would be a good idea to share with you a review so let's go ahead and get started. Stay tuned. So Tampax Pro comes in five sizes, light, regular, super, super plus, and ultra. So they are all color coded. I do wish that light and ultra were different colors because they're both purple, but for the most part, they are super easy to identify just at first glance. The tampon wrappers are easy to open and quite discreet. Each tampon has the same plastic applicator, so the exact style, but different sizes. Now, in my opinion, after trying out so many different tampons over the last year, I will say that the applicator for Tampax Pro is not my favorite. Overall, the applicator is easy to use and decent for the most part. The tampons itself are the exact same, so same bloom, same style, etc. Different absorbencies, of course. I love the braid on the top of the string. They call it a leak guard and it's super thick. And over the many years that I've used these tampons, this little braid definitely has helped me out a lot. It truly does help prevent leaks, even when the tampon is completely saturated. So I love that. I've tried a ridiculous amount of tampons recently and in my opinion, Tampax has the absolute best string ever. And I wish the other companies would get with a program and make their strings like this too or something similar because the ones that I've used that are not by Tampax kind of suck to be honest. So I love the strings on these and the tampons are super absorbent. They're not the most absorbent in comparison to Playtex, but they come really close. And for the most part, they work just fine. So I don't have any complaints. I've used them for many years, light, regular, and super mostly. And then most recently after being diagnosed with fibroids, I started to use a super plus and also ultra. So how do I pick out the absorbency for my flow? Let's talk about that. So as you may know, picking out the right size tampon is really important to minimize the chances of developing TSS, which is toxic shock syndrome. Really quickly, toxic shock, Toxic shock syndrome is caused by usually Staphylococcus aureus or strep, so streptococcus. An easy way to remember them is staph and strep. And these bacteria are usually present on the skin and the nose, but when they are deep inside of our bodies, like in the vagina, they can release toxins and get into the bloodstream, which can poison us. So it's very rare to get TSS. So of course we need to change our tampons at least every four to six hours and also pick the lowest absorbency for our flow. So how do I do this? When I start my period, I wait until I stop spotting until I have a full flow and choose regular. Now I have a very heavy period my first few days. Even still, I don't go for a super plus or even ultra. I always start with regular first as a guide. I don't use any absorbencies that are unnecessary because the higher absorbency that you use, the more likely you are to develop TSS. It's not supposed to scare you, but it's something that we need to keep in mind when we're using tampons to always go for the lowest absorbency first and make sure that we're not overdoing it. So here's my personal rule of thumb. If the tampon isn't saturated in two full hours, I try to go down in absorbency. So for example, if I'm using regular and it's halfway full in two hours, I will use a light instead. If the tampon is saturated in two hours and there's a little bit of blood on the liner, I will keep using a regular until something changes, of course. If the tampon is completely saturated and there's a ton of blood on the liner to the point where I need to go up, I will just simply move up to super. Before developing uterine fibroids in my 30s, I used light and regular the most during my teen years and my 20s. So if you have a regular flow, Light, regular, and maybe super is pretty much all you'll need. Super plus and ultra really should be reserved for really heavy flows. So in my opinion, if you can't saturate a tampon in four to six hours, I would go down in absorbency just to be on the safe side. Overall, the tampons are great. I've used them for many years. Even though I have many other options that I've tried out that I really do like, I still use Tampax Pearl too. And I would highly recommend them. 
So I hope this video was helpful. If it was, please give it a big thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe to this channel and also check out all the other videos in the period playlist. I'm pretty sure you'll find something that you'll like. And with that, the next video is on the screen. Until next time.